So we see here that the Lord said, I'm going to gather them from all cultures and give them one heart and one spirit and a new spirit to walk with a new culture. And they will become the people of one God. One culture, one spirit, and one father. A culture of one standard way of life. A culture of of one standard way of life. In Colossians 3. You know, when you begin to Reflect on the area of your life as you came in Christ and you got filled with the Spirit and God began to remove certain things from you, especially from your cultures, you know, things that were inherited down and how certain, you know, there's certain labels on certain cultures that are associated with uh, your last name or whatever, you know. And as you break those off of your life, you become a part of a new culture. Even the certain foods and certain things and whatever. And it doesn't mean you've got to change everything around. But, you know, if you've got a family that's got a history of diabetes, why eat the same way? If you've got a history of a family that eats of heart disease, why are you still eating the same way? Because you're still a part of the old culture. Does everybody understand? You know, God is providing a healthy culture now. There's a healthy way. Things are changing. People are being more curious and more convicted in their life about what they eat and what they do. Because God is restoring one culture. Not according to the traditions of men, but according to the culture of the king. The original culture. In Colossians 3, is everybody there in verse 1? Would you read it with me? If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above. Where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on the things above and not on the things of the earth or the culture of the earth. Human cultures. For you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is our life appears, then you will also appear with him in glory. Therefore, what? Put to death your members which are on the earth. Fornication, uncleanliness, passion, evil desires, and covetousness, which is idolatry. What cultures are that? Ain't from my dad's cultures. That's from the world of human culture. Because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience. He will destroy all other cultures but one. In which you yourselves once walked when you lived in them. But now you yourselves are to what? Put off all these things associated with these cultures. Which is what? Anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language out of your mouth. Do not lie to one another since you have put off the old man with its deeds. And you have put on the what? New man who is renewed in the what? Knowledge according to the image of him who created him. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave nor free, but Christ is all in all. One culture of knowledge pertaining to to another realm of life. Does everybody got this? Grab hold of this. Catch this. It's one culture of knowledge that pertains to another realm of life, not according to human culture. Everything of the human culture, the original culture God created is opposite. <laughs> or a man who is exalted God 
doesn't look at that. He looks at the man who is humble. Well, the world looks at the money and the fame. God is looking at the one who's humble and a servant. Amen? There's a difference. It's a different culture. It's the original culture. The one that has a relationship with the king. It has a one that's known as a son or a daughter. One that's not bound to this realm, but is a culture of like-mindedness and like-heartedness with not only Christ, but with one another. It's a different culture. 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Verse 14. Now when you read this, you're going to see a whole different thing. Because what he's talking about is not just the world, but he's talking about the human culture. Who was under the rule of Satan. Would you read it with me? Do not be what? I'm unevenly yoked with unbelievers. Or is unbeliever from another culture? Yes. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness, and what communion has light with darkness, and what accord is Christ with Belial? Or what part has a believer with an unbeliever? And what agreement is the temple of God with idols? For you are the what? Temple of the living God. And as God has said, I will dwell with them. I will walk among them. I will be their God. And they shall be my people. If they what? If they come out from among them. Come out from what? That culture. Come out from your cultures. Come out from human culture. And be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean and I will receive you. I will be a father to you and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. One culture, not yoked with human culture, but eternal culture. A new way of thinking, talking, behaving as royal citizens in the eternal kingdom and its culture. It's different. One of the things the enemy does quickly is causes you to think according to human culture instead of the original culture or the eternal one. In Romans 12. That's why you must stay in divine order. Divine order. You can only stay in divine order by the anointing. In Romans 12, in verse 4. Is everybody there? Everybody okay? Would you read it with me, please? For as we have many members in one body, but all members do not have the same function. Wow. So we're all members of one body, one culture, but we all have a different function. But all members do not have the same function. So we being many are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. Having then what? Gifts or functions differing according to the grace that is given to us. Let us use them if prophecy let us prophesy in proportion to our faith. Or ministry let us use it in our ministering. He who teaches and teaches, he who exhorts and exhortation, he who gives with liberally and he who leads with diligence, he who so shows mercy with cheerfulness. Amen. Does everybody see this? So we see that there's something very important here, and I want to go a little further. He says, but let love be without what? Hypocrisy. Abhor what is evil, cling to what is good. Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love and honor, giving preference to one another not lagging in diligent, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. This is the culture. 